All right, it's 3.30 in the morning. <laughs> I got up, uh, I usually get up about this time, but I thought I'd come down. I had an idea while I was in, laying in bed of uh, putting a fondue stick straight through the clay and behind him and under the robe of the uh, wolf skin and uh, to get the um, quiver, the bow quiver, uh, lined up. And uh, this is going to be the wrapped part of the bow. And then I'll put the uh, the quiver underneath that. And that's this right here. And uh, I'm going to see if I can make that work out. I just had this idea and I wanted to come down and at least get it going. Time to play with some clay. So I'm putting the uh, clay onto the fondue stick. It's the only way I could uh, ensure that the uh, whole quiver thing lined up. And uh, I'm going to bend this hand up so I can work underneath it here. The uh, quiver that holds the bow would be uh, a thinner leather tube. And uh, the uh, quiver that holds the arrows would be underneath or behind that uh, quiver. Now the clay is really cold because it's 30 degrees outside. I don't have the heat on in my studio. And uh, the only thing keeping me warm is my big robe. My winter robe. And uh, Now I'm going to have his hand on the quiver. Yeah. Now I put the arrow quiver back in there and uh, I see now that it does line up perfectly so that's a relief. I think what I'll do is I'll wait till morning when I come back down. Oh, I'm not recording, am I? Well, I am recording. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm losing my mind. So, anyway. This just uh, helps me get the uh, whole thing correct. At least, hopefully it does. I'll get this worked out. All right, everybody, be back in a few hours. All right, I'm here finally. It's late in the afternoon. I had to go to the grocery store and get some groceries for Thanksgiving. And I was trying to do it before the day before Thanksgiving because I figured that would be really the wrong time to try to get groceries. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> And I had never spent so much money in the last year as I did today. But anyway, I'm not going anywhere for Thanksgiving. I'm just cooking my own dinner. But still, grocery prices have definitely gone up. About the only thing I'm going to get a chance to work on today is the quiver of the uh, warrior. That's the uh, thing that holds his uh, arrows and his bow. Um, I've got a book called The Mystic Warriors of the Plains. And it shows the different uh, styles of uh, bow quivers. And uh, this is a mountain lion skin uh, bow quiver. I don't know if I'm going to do that. This is also a bow quiver here. 
but as you can see there the bow is held in a separate uh, sl sleeve and the uh, arrows are held in a separate sleeve and so that's what uh, I'm doing here and uh, I'm going to try to concentrate on what I'm doing here because of all the grocery shopping I had to do. <laughs> Just, oh my gosh. So I'm going to continue on working on this and I'll come back in a few minutes after I get some stuff done that you can't see being done because it's in a place on the clay that I can't actually get a good shot of with my camera. All right, be right back. What I'm doing is I'm filling in around the base of the uh, quiver or the uh, bow quiver going into the uh, underneath the uh, clay of the uh, fur. I know it's hard and, uh, for you to see what I'm doing. I'm just basically filling in crevices um, of the uh, clay where everything joins up back here. Okay. Now I gotta make the, bow, the bottom part of the bow quiver. Now this is the uh, bottom part of the arrow quiver and uh, I gotta slow down I'm trying to work too fast and the last thing you want to do is work too fast when you're doing detail work because all that does is mess up your detail I'll detail all this later. I just wanted to get it roughed in real quick to see how, how it looks. And uh, looks pretty good. Okay, this part of the skin here that's going over his arm will be the tanned part of the skin, the uh, smooth part. The fur part's on the outside. And so, got to see if I got some soft clay here. I'm still trying to decide how I want to do this fur and I haven't quite decided yet. Um, I want to make it look like a lot of fur but the only way to do that is by giving it a fur texture but I'm trying to stay away from that but I'm not sure I'm going to be able to.
Well, I think his body's turning out pretty good. His anatomy is. I'm not overdoing the muscles. I'm just, he's got the basics. And uh, that's all that uh, he really needs. I'm going to have to call it quits. It's getting close to the time I have to quit or else I don't get the video out tonight in a, in a timely manner. So, uh, you know, besides that, I feel too rushed right now and I don't like that feeling and it causes mistakes if you try to push yourself too hard. I can't believe how much clay I've gone through. And I'm going to be going through. But uh, that's the nature of this piece. It's going to take a lot of clay. I tried to save it by making the uh, skin with the cloth, but uh, you guys all and I still end up using a lot of clay here, so I'll be here tomorrow and uh, but I won't be here Thursday and probably not Friday. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that fur. All right, everybody. I see you tomorrow. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.